Alright, so from the goalkeeper upwards, using a different letter from the alphabet in each position to build a team and then use it in Foot Champions. Let's do it. If you guys want safe, cheap and reliable FIFA 19 coins with 24-7 support and also 100% safe comfort trades, make sure you head over to MuleFactory.com and also use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout to get yourself a cheeky 5% off any order you make on the site. Also, just before we get into the video, if you guys want to go ahead and get yourself some G Fuel, make sure you head over to the G Fuel website, a link in the description to that, and go ahead and use the code NERD at the checkout for 10% off your order. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video, and as you can tell by the title, today we are using an alphabetical team in Foot Champions. So yeah, basically where this idea came from was actually on Twitch. I was actually told by Twitch sub to do this idea, so I thought, why not? It was actually a pretty sick idea if you ask me and basically I'll explain it when we actually get into the team how it kind of works but I actually recorded the building the team and the game the other day because we're actually past the foot champions time because yeah, obviously foot champions is Friday to Sunday and uh, yeah it's not Sunday anymore we are on Monday so yeah this intro and outro will be recorded after if that makes sense see so, yeah, we went ahead and built the team on stream and help from the stream as well luckily I did because I would have forgotten so many players with the alphabet. I'm not going to lie. Like, we literally would have forgotten loads. And, yeah, you're going to basically see all of that anyway. So, I think that's enough for me talking for the intro. You'll see it explained in the video where you'll see us go ahead and build the team. So, without further ado, let's get straight into building the team. And I'll see you guys there. All right, boys. So, on to the squad screen like usual. As you can see, let's go ahead and create our new squad. So, let's go for Alphabet Alphas. Yeah, we'll go for something like that. Alphabet Alphas. There we go. That's the team name. That's what we're going to use. Now, let's get into the formation. So, just like we usually do in terms of getting formations picked randomly, we're going to use our good friend Siri. So, here we go then. Obviously, we know there's 30 formations on the game. So, Siri's going to choose a number between 1 and 30. So, let's see what Siri chooses. Hey, Siri. Pick a number between 1 and 30. is 22. Number 22 formation. Okay. So as we know, 442 is obviously a formation number one. So if we go back to uh, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, which is the 4312. Okay. Right. That is the formation we're going to go with. Now it's time to show you guys what order we're going to go in in terms of the alphabet of this team. All right. So obviously goalkeeper starts off with A. Then we're going to go to the right back, which is B. Then C on the right center back. Then D on the left center back. Then E on the left back. Then F on the left center mid. Central center mid is going to be G. H is going to be the right center mid. I is going to be the cam. J is going to be the right striker. And K is going to be the left striker. And then also onto the bench. L is going to be sub 1, M is going to be sub 2, and N is going to be sub number 3. So yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Let's go ahead now and find some players for them alphabetical via their last names, because that's what players get called by. So let's get on to building this team. Alright, so in goal, boys, um, I think there's an obvious one to go for here, and that is going to be Allison. I believe his team of the season is fairly cheap, I think, if I check. Maybe not the cheapest, actually. Um... Well, I don't know. We might just we might go for a different version of his card. I'm gonna be a cheapskate like I usually am. So if we just go with one of his normal cards, the 87 Allison, that will do. Now on to our right back. All right, so obviously the right back has to be by the last name of B. Sadly, we can't go Juan Bissaka because obviously it's a, bar a double barrel name at the end. So Juan Bissaka. We have got the likes though of Hector Bellerin. We could go at right back. Um, that would work. That's the only one I can really think of in terms of uh, right backs that have got a name ending with B. All right, so yeah, the right back we are going to go with is Hector Bellerin. Um, we can go with his carnival version as well, which is actually not a bad card at all. So he can go in the right back. Now on to our first centre back on the right centre back, which is obviously by which is obviously by the name of C. All right, boys. So we. Have have a few options here. We could go for the likes of Christensen or we could go for someone like Sol Campbell, which I think we're going to go with here. So if we go ahead and find a version of Sol Campbell, probably not going to be his prime because I don't think I can afford that. So if we just go with his 87 at that right centre back role, he can slot in perfectly there. All right. So now on to the right centre back. Obviously, his name has to uh, um, start in a D. So let's figure one out here. All right, boys. So in terms of the left centre back, we're actually going to go ahead with Van Dyke because obviously his last name is Dyke, but he's called Van Dyke. So whether you class that as a V or a D, I don't know. But we're going to go with Van Dyke, nevertheless. And I already have him in my club. So Van Dyke is going to be the left centre back alongside Campbell. Now on to the left back, which starts with E. All right, guys. So in terms of left backs with the last name, sorry, the last name of E, we have the likes of Emerson, which is the only one I can really think of now. 
Um, Emerson's probably going to be our only option. So, I don't know. I don't think there's anyone else with the last name of an E. Or, sorry, their main name is starting with an E. All right, boys. So, there we go. That is the defense done. Now, on to our left center mid, which has to obviously have his main name starting with an F. Honestly, I don't think there's many other options we're going to go for here because he has to be in the team, I feel like. So, let's go with the man that links up with Van Dyke as well. And that is Fabinho. I have his GCL card in my club as well. So, Fabinho is definitely going to be in his team. All right, now on to the central centre mid, which obviously starts with a G. Just to point this out, I'm not actually thinking about all this myself. I've got my Twitch chat helping me as well. Big shout out to them, legends. Um, I wouldn't be able to do it without them, I'm not going to lie. All right, boys, so we have a few options here, which I couldn't actually think about myself. Like I said, Twitch chat is helping me. So we've got Gundogan and Goretzka. Um, we've got Gerard. Don't think I'll be able to afford Gerard alongside some of the other players as well. Pull it as well, which I won't be able to afford. Gwen Doozy is actually another good shout, though. I might actually go Gwen Doozy. I like that shout. I want to use his future stars, which is actually it's a very, very good card. And also the likes of Gertzer. But I think we're going to go here in the central centre midfield role, uh, Gwen Doozy's future star. So let's go with that. All right, now on to the right centre mid. All right, boys. So in terms of this right centre mid, we have the options pretty much between Hector Herrera and Herrera or Henderson. And I think in terms of chemistry, it's probably best to go with Ander Herrera as he obviously gets a stronger link with Bellerin, with the Spanish link, and obviously he'll link with Sol Camber because he is an icon. So we're going to go with Ander Herrera in this right centre midfield role like so. He didn't actually have a special card by the UCL card. So Ander Herrera in the right centre mid. Now on to our cam, which is an I. And I can only really think of one right now, which is Isco. So let's see what we come up with. All right, so in terms of this cam player, we've spent a long time on this and we finally figured out a Premier League one. And it is indeed... Danny Ings. I was going to go with a rule where we could only go down one position, but as he can't go up to uh, one either, he can go down two into a cam roll. So Danny Ings as our cam, now on to the two strikers. As you might be able to tell, I'm trying to get as much chemistry as possible. That is kind of the aim. Okay, so now on to our right striker, which has to start with a J. I think there's only really one option here, and I think that is going to be Gabriel Jesus, which he has an 88 rated carnival card, so we're going to go with that. Alright, so now on to the left striker, K as their name. So we've got the options of King... Kane, and also, as we were cheeky earlier, I suppose we can be cheeky again, Conaguero could be an option here. So, I think our option is going to be, indeed, Conaguero. So, let's go with the boy, Con Aguero, Sergio Aguero as well, obviously known as. I've got his team of the season here as well, so that is perfect. And that then completes the team. All right, so going over the team again, we've got Alisson in goal. Right back is Bellerin. Right centre back is Campbell. Left centre back is Dyke. Left back is Emerson. Um, left centre mid is Fabinho. Central centre mid is Guendouzi. Right centre mid is Herrera. Cam is Ings. Right striker is Jesus. And left striker is Con Aguero. All right, so been cheeky a couple of times there. I'm not going to lie. It is now time to get into the bench choose the l m and n players obviously as our three subs that we can bring on in game so let's get into that now and let's see who we choose so there is a lot of options and also another one that i didn't mention herving lozano so i think we are gonna go right here with herving lozano so i have got his footies card so we'll put him onto the bench as the letter l now on to m all right m time let's have a think all right so we've got a lot of options for m um here so we've got the likes of mbappe we've got mares we've got Mane, we've got Martial, uh, Mendy, I'm just looking at the chat right now because I can't remember them all, we've got Maguire, uh, who has got Madison, I feel like we've got to go Maguire though because you know he is the most expensive defender in the world and he is a beast, so Harry Maguire, welcome to the team, where are you at, Harry Maguire, let's go, Maguire, welcome. You're in. So, yeah, onto a player with the beginning of N now. We've got the likes of Neymar, Knight and Golem, N on Bele, Noble. Not that I'm going to use him. So, yeah, I think we're going to go with on here. It's got to be Neymar. I've already looked at it. Neymar is in. We're going to go with his base card and our third sub. And there we go. That then completes the bench. So, what I'm going to do now, boys, is go ahead and buy the team and the bench as well. So, let me go ahead and do that. And when I've done that, I'll be back with you guys and it'll be time to get into the game. All right, boys. So, I've gone ahead and bought the team. As you can see on the screen now, now, the team is all here, but you might notice a difference in something on the bench. As you can see, we was going to go for Neymar, but I didn't actually have enough coins, so we replaced him with one of my oldest but goldest friends on FIFA. Well, I say friends, obviously I don't actually know him, but still, shut up. It's, yeah, yeah. We have gone for Mbame Yang. 
Um, this guy, honestly, back in the day on FIFA, used to be one of my favorite players when he had a silver card at AC Milan. He was sick. So he's on the bench, and we're going to plan on trying to use all the subs at half time. They're going to come on and see what they can do. So, yes, the team is complete. It is now time to get into a game. So I'll see you guys when we have got ourselves into a game. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys. So we have found ourselves an opponent. Who is he going to have in his team? Here it comes, then. What is it going to be? All right. So we've got the likes of Team of Season Lacazette, Team of Season Awa. He's got Prime Icon Moments, Clive. Divert, footies Juan Jesus, team of the season Cancelo, team of the season Sterling, or player of the year, or young player of the year, sorry Sterling, flashback Sandro, team of the season Donnarumma, team of the season Izzo, he's got the normal neighbor and that foot birthday Kevin De Bruyne, alright, let's get into this game, alright, here we go, kickoff time, let's do this, So Campbell, oh, that's a good ball to Awa, that's a good cross, what a save, Oh my, okay, De Bruyne with a finish, maybe because I didn't pronounce his card right, which was a footless, he scored against me, alright, one little to this guy, brilliant, Good ball there to Aguero. Aguero to run this. He was the heel. Oh, go on. Aguero still got it. Lacro. Lacro. Aguero. Kick off goal. Let's go. <laughs> we are straight back in it with team this season. Con Aguero, I should point out. With the finish, makes it 1 all. All right. Now let's continue and hopefully take the lead with the next goal. Fabinho. Fabinho. Go on. Oh, no. He's not got the ball there. Uh oh. Lacazette. Uh oh. Oh, my. Okay, there was no stopping that. It's now 2-1 to this guy. What a finish. I, I have to give him that again. Two brilliant finishes. Ref, free kick. Thank you very much. All right, can we do anything with the free kick? That is the question. Go on, Aguero. Put this in the top left corner. You got this. Con Aguero. And he does. Con Aguero scores two goals and brings it back. Level for us again. I will take that. All right. Let's now, hopefully, not go behind again and take the lead next time. Let's see what we can do. Nice. Jesus. Play it across to Fabinho. Out wide. Yes, Emerson. Come on, whip a good point here. What a ball to Jesus. Let's go. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. What a ball from Emerson, may I point out. He's very good at crossing in real life. I do rate him at that. And he crosses it into Jesus. And now we are 3-2 in the lead. All right, I will take that. I am happy. Players about. Let's just keep the ball till half time. If not, get a goal as well. Go on, Guadouzi. She's Bellerin on the outskirts. Yes, Bellerin. Play this into Aguero. Aguero! Oh, off the post. That is pretty much going to be it for this half, I think. All right. I think that is pretty much going to be the end of the half. And it is. So we are now 3-2 up at half time. We're going to bring in all three subs, see what they could do in-game, and let's see what they can do. All right, boys. So in terms of these subs, we're definitely going to bring on Lozano, I think, in that cam roll. Um, in terms of Niang, I don't really want to take off either of these strikers. So that's kind of annoying. But Maguire's going to come on. So I think he's going to come on for Campbell, like so. And then Niang, um, who do we bring him on for? Jesus. He's going to come on for Jesus, I think, instead of Aguero. And let's just now get into the second half and let's see what they can do. Gwen. Gwen Doozy. Go on. On the edge to Ander Herrera. Oh, my days. Thank God you've gone PSG. I'm joking. I really did like Herrera. All right. Get a win there. Up the Harry Maguire on the slab at himself. Okay. I'm liking this. Better run on the overlap. Make a run down the line. Niang. Mbe Niang. Niang. Oh, what a save on the green as well. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. Bellerin on the overlap again. Cut that inside. Into now Ander Herrera. Ander Herrera. What a save. Donna Rumor again. Play that middle. Nice. Herrera again. Mbe Niang. Niang! Oh, that is what I am talking about. What a finish. A green time finish into that top left. That was a rocket. That was a rocket. Mbe Niang, the best silver card of the FIFA Ultimate Team history. I'm telling you, what a finish. Oh, okay. We are 4 2 up. I'll take that. Oh, what beautiful bit of play there. Beautiful bit of play. Oh, the play. Lozano! Oh, that was lovely play to make it 5-2. And we now solidify the win with the alphabetical alphas. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I will take it. Here we go then. Play this about. It's pretty much the end of the game. And it is. We managed to win 5-2 with the alphabetical alphas. There we go then. That was a very decent game. All right, so confirmation of the score. As you can see, we win 5-2. So if we advance on and now take a look at the match stats. As you'll be able to see, we had 12 shots to his 8. 8 shots on target to his 4. 53% possession as well. Overall, I think the team actually played quite well. Emerson was very, very solid at left back. Niang obviously scored a very nice goal as well. Aguero scored a couple of things in there as well. So that was actually a very, very good game overall. And the team did well. I'm happy. That was a very, very good game and a decent team to use. Nice, nice, nice. 
So yeah, boys, anyways, that wraps up the alphabetical team in Foot Champions. We actually managed to win, which was pretty decent. I mean, the team overall was fairly decent as well. Once again, thanks to Twitch chat if you guys were in there for helping me out. If you don't know what my Twitch is, it is linked in the description. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments any more other Foot Champions challenges you guys would like to see until we hit FIFA 20, and then obviously we'll do some more on FIFA 20 as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.